but that's the master bedroom. Now we're going to take a, a look at another room in my home that houses more of my collectible items. Uh, it has a lot of action figures and die casts in this room. So this is a room that I have made into kind of a showroom. Actually, I call it Showroom A. And what you're seeing there is uh, action figures and die cast, which is what is in this room. And it's pretty much all the action figures and the die cast that I acquire from my collection from roughly the years 2007, maybe 2008, up till about 2012. That five-year clip is what you're seeing in the room here. Um, I want to break it down for you and show it to you. I'll start with action figures, and then we'll show you the die cast, beginning with sports figures. So beginning with the sports figures, what you guys are seeing there is what sports figure collecting looked like if you were collecting sports figures, in particular football figures, back in the years 1999 and 2000. And these figures here are from 2000, and the ones you're seeing now come into focus are from 1999. And these are the starting lineup brand of sports figures that were made by a company, uh, the Hasbro Company, which at one time was called Kenner, but then just went under the Hasbro moniker sometime, I don't know, in the late 90s maybe. And so these are the figures that Hasbro was producing in those years. And you see what we're looking at here is a standard four inch figure on a cardboard square packaging with a clamshell affixed to it, helmet off. Uh, there's some detail in there and they're kind of cool and they're kind of nice. And uh, once again, if you were collecting these back in those years, then this is what you were getting. And you probably thought back then, you know, this is pretty cool. Some were harder to find than others. Um, some you had to really get to the, the stores early to chase down, um, particularly the rookie figures. Um, and some of the other ones. Um, but again, just one basic issue figure. And the big names of the day there, what you're seeing now is a couple of Barry, uh, Barry Sanders, Andre Risen, Dan Marino, Curtis Martin, Randy Moss, Marshall Falk. Um, those are the big names of football back in those years. Moving on back over this way, uh, that actually, that uh, Barry Sanders right there you're seeing was a, a retail exclusive figure uh, where it's got him uh, in, the, in the Pro Bowl jersey right here. Only available at Myers Retail Stores, a Midwest chain. Um, so that was something to kind of chase down back in the day. Coming over here to this figure and the dark jersey, the brown uh, jersey over here, Tim Couch. Um, that one right there. That, yeah, that one. That was an Ames retail exclusive. Can only, only available at the Ames Offshoot Retail Stores, Ohio-based company back in the day. So that was that one to chase down. But pretty much this is what we were looking at back in 99 and 2000 uh, in terms of collecting. One basic figure from a line on this kind of card. Um, good player selection. And then Tom McFarland. And then in the year 2000, and you just saw the, the final run of football figures. Um, Hasbro no longer was doing sports figures anymore. They didn't renew their sports licenses. And in 2000, the whole like sports collecting game changed when Tom McFarland picked up the sports collecting license and started making the six-inch sports figures, which we're going to see in just a minute. So now we fast forward the clock 10 years. We're in the years 2009, 2010. And this is what people are collecting if you're still sports figure collecting in those years. What you're looking at there is the six inch uh, sports figure produced by McFarlane. You got a taste of these already in my master bedroom when I showed you the figures that I keep in there, the six inch uh, sports picks. And again, you see how these figures are very different than the Kenner Hasbro starting lineup figures we were getting 10 years previous. First off, these figures are a bigger scale, they're six inch. They are much more highly detailed than those starting lineup figures because Todd McFarlane is, um, his signature is detail in his figures. Everybody knows Todd as a detail oriented guy from the tattoos these guys are sporting on their bodies to the, the brand name equipment they're wearing. Right down to the last detail, Todd pretty much gets it spot on. And that's why I, I think these figures were particularly attractive to collect for many years. Um, they're in an all-plastic clamshell. And once again, much more highly detailed, much more visually stunning and appealing. And then in addition to the, the bigger, more detailed figure, 
Todd also introduces something that was not really present with Hasbro starting lineups, and that is the chase figure. And then Todd not only introduces the chase figure collecting, sports figure collecting, but takes it to a whole new level that he calls collector's level. And we'll show you those in just a little bit. So to illustrate how these collector's level chase figures work, uh, what you're looking at there is a white jersey, white pants, Mark Sanchez chase figure. The regular or basic issue of him has a green solid jersey and white pants, but the chase has him in a white jersey. And then if you look here on the base of the figure, you will see it is numbered 1705 at 3000. So 3000 of that 3000 pieces of the Mark Sanchez chase figure were produced and I wound up at number 1705 of the 3000 in my collection. And with 3000 produced that makes it a bronze level chase figure or in other words the lowest level of chase figure. Here on this display you'll see a couple of Jason Hayward figures. His basic, his basic figures in the white jersey, white pants, there on the right. And on the left, you'll see the blue jersey, gray pants chase figure of him. And if we could zoom into the base of the blue jersey, gray pants chase figure, you will see on there it's numbered 544 of 1,000. So 1,000 proofs of that chase figure. I wound up with number 544 in my collection. That makes it a silver level chase because 1,000 were produced of it. One more example I'll show you here is this Champ Bailey NCAA college figure. On the right here, you see the Champ Bailey in the solid red Georgia jersey. Then over here on the left, you will see the, the white jersey chase figure. And again, if we could zoom into the base of the figure. It looks like there, it says 322 of 400. So 400 of that white jersey Champ chase uh, piece were produced, and I went up a number 322 in my collection. And there's actually three more levels above gold level, collector's level chase that exist. There's the premier level chase figures, where there's only 250 or less of those produced. Then above the premier level will be the all-star level chase figures with 100 pieces or less of that chase produced. And then finally, the highest tier will be the MVP level. MVP chases is 50 produced or less, and they tend to be very rare and very expensive when you can find them. I'm going to take you through the sports figures I have displayed in this room. Uh, again, starting with the sports figures. This display we're looking at here has a lot of my NBA figures on there, as well as up top there you'll see some baseball figures. And you see a wide variety of names and players on there. The big names, again, back in 2009, 2010, 2011, that were coming uh, through the McFarland sports figure lines. Uh, just to kind of zoom in there, you'll see guys like Kobe Bryant, uh, Hall of Famer, R.I.P. Reg and Chase figure there. Other Hall of Famers there, you see Carmelo Anthony. I should say future Hall of Famers. Carmelo Anthony, you see Dwayne Wade there. Uh, another future Hall of Famer, Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, uh, Dirk Nowitzki. Um, and again, just uh, Reg and Chase figures you see on this display here. All kinds of different ones. Kyrie Irving. Uh, you see Jeremy Lin. Again, not a future Hall of Famer, but a big name in the game back in 2009, 2010 when he was playing for the, uh, the Rockets. Again, it's his uh, red jersey silver chase figure, Blake Griffin there. Darren Williams, another big name in the game at that time. A couple of Steve Nash figures up there. Uh, Collector's Club exclusive, Ricky Rubio. And then to kind of take you and show you some of the baseball figures there, you're seeing now the Bryce Harper figures come into focus. That's actually a gold cleats chase figure. Uh, Derek Jeter, um, all-star uh, all -Star jersey exclusive chase figure. Kershaw McCutcheon, Reagan, uh, Reagan Chase Strasburg. And there you're seeing the Collector's Club exclusive, Hugh Darvish. And then to take you back to the display we kind of started with over here. This display we're going to see over here has a, mostly a lot of uh, baseball and basketball, I'm sorry, baseball and football figures on it with a couple of hockey figures. And again, the big names of the day, you see them there, Utley, David Wright, Kevin Euclid in baseball there. You see a couple of hockey figures. It's a Sedin Chase, um, Malkin Chase. Uh, Dion Phaneuf chase there. Moving up top, you see the NA, uh, college players like Joseph Adai, Beanie Wells, Tim Tebow, 
they were all very big names in college football back then. That's a rug and Tebow Chase, the blue pants of the Chase. You see here Dominica Sue, Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson. Uh, the Sue's interesting because it shows him in a Nebraska jersey, and that's the only piece that produ that uh, McFarland produced in the Dominica Sue is in his Nebraska jersey. Never made one of them in a Detroit Lions jersey or anybody else uh, in the NFL. And then Ray Rice, Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, Adrian Peterson, Chase figure. Troy Palomalo, Reagan Chase. Charles Woodson, Michigan, Reagan Chase. And now we're coming into a line of figures, of NFL figures, that was actually a GameStop exclusive. So the Jared Allen, the Anquan Bolden, the Maurice Jones-Drew, the Darren McFadden, Reagan Chase. Those all came through GameStop retail stores. Uh, they were GameStop exclusive, so it can only be obtained there. And, you know, I had to get them from my collection because they're some of the big names of the game. Uh, continuing on here is the Troy Palomalu, uh, retro jersey exclusive, Tony Romo Chase. And then up top there you see uh, Jerome Bettis, Reg and Chase, Wes Welker, Reg, Adrian Peterson, Brandon Marshall, Reg and Chase figure, uh, Eli Manning Chase, Terry Bradshaw, Reg and Chase. Once again, big names of both past and present. And then on this display here, I have more uh, football and hockey pieces. Uh, here you're seeing uh, Jonathan Taves and Sidney Crosby, Team Canada exclusives there. And then a wave of hockey here with Max Patch ready, Steven Stamkos, Regan Chase. And then down over here, you got the Eric Carlson, Regan Chase, and the Corey Schneider Chase figure. That, that line of hockey figures you're seeing there was actually the last wave of, of hockey figures that McFarland produced before he stopped doing them. Import Dragon started doing them. Provided to my collection by Carm from Canada, of course. Another plug for you there, Carm. Thank you. And that's a Cam Newton surprise figure. Actually, the first figure of Newton that McFarlane produced. And then along the top here, you'll see more hockey figures. That's a Johnny Bauer, uh, Hall of Fame goaltender. Joffrey Lupul, uh, Leaf Star at the time. Reg and Chase, Jordan Eberle. Uh, this is the Claude Giroux in the cool orange uh, uh, Winter Classic jersey. And the black jersey... Claude Giroux, uh, gold uh, chase figure, gold, a collector's level gold chase figure. And the reg, and, and the, also in a winter class, New Jersey Lundquist, and the blue chase. And then, of course, the Larry Robinson here, chase figure silver level with the Conn Smite trophy inserted. And once again, compliments to Carm. Thank you, Carm, for hooking me up with the Robinson, as well as the Claude Giroux uh, black jersey chase figure. Both compliments to Carm. Here on this display, I have a few uh, box sets or multi-packs. Uh, what you're seeing there is a Cubs box set consisting of Greg Maddox, Carlson Brano, and Derek Lee. And above that one, we have a box set of the, I think it was the 2010 World Champion Giants, Pablo Sandoval, Marco Scudero, Buster Posey. And up above them is a collector's box uh, exclusive of Madison Bumgarner. And drawing the, the, the camera back on the, uh, the Cubs one here, uh, one of the big draws about uh, getting a box set is exclusive jerseys or exclusive players. Uh, so what I mean by that is if you look in the, in the Cubs box set, you'll see Carlos Zambrano in a solid blue jersey, and you'll see Derek Lee in a, in a pinstripes jersey. And the basic issue, or as I call it, the single-carded Zambrano that appeared, you know, was a regular-issued ver version of Zambrano on single card, showed him in a pinstripes jersey, and the regular-issued single card of Derek Lee had him in a blue jersey. But if you notice in the box set, uh, Zambrano's in the solid blue jersey and Lee is in the pinstripes. And if you wanted those versions of Zambrano and Lee, the only way you can get them is in the three-pack, the box set. And the Greg Maddox pinstripes one there, also exclusive to that box set. So all three of those uh, players in those jerseys are exclusive to that box set. Above there, you see the Senegal Scooter Posey. And what makes that one particularly interesting is... The only way to obtain figures of Pablo Sandoval or Marco Scudero were in that three-pack box set. Uh, they weren't issued any other way on single card. And then that, that Buster Posey on the end you're seeing in the gray jersey, that's exclusive to the box set. Because the regular issued Buster Posey, which I had back on my wall over there, is got them in the orange jersey. So again, the only way to get those uh, figures is in the exclusive box set. And that Madison Bumgarner up above. Well, the only way to obtain the Bumgarner figure was in the collector's edition box set, packaged up with the World Series trophies. So kind of some cool figures there. So here I have a couple of Super Bowl box sets to show you. It was tradition uh, back in the day for McFarland to produce a three-pack box set from whichever NFL team won the Super Bowl that year. 
And what you're seeing here is a Ravens Super Bowl three pack as well as a Patriots Super Bowl three pack. And again, it's about the exclusive jerseys and figures involved. In the Ravens three pack, you see Joe Flacco and Ray Lewis in the white jersey, black pants, as well as a Jacoby Jones figure there. Let me get a little closer with the camera. And once again, the only way to get the Flacco and Lewis in the white and black pants was through the three pack. And the only way to get the Jacoby Jones figure was exclusively in this three pack. And then above them, you see the Patriots one that shows Rob Gronkowski, Tom Brady, and Julian Edelman. Uh, the Edelman was exclusive to the three pack, only way to get that figure, as well as the Gronkowski there in the white jersey that you see. He was exclusive to the three pack as well. This is the Green Bay Packers Super Bowl three pack exclusive. It's got Clay Matthews, Aaron Rodgers, and Greg Jennings. The Clay Matthews flexing his guns there is in the white jersey, is exclusive to the three pack, as well as the Greg Jennings figure on the end. Only way we can get those figures in their white jerseys and is in this three pack. This is a Giants three pack Super Bowl exclusive featuring Ahmad Bradshaw, Eli Manning, and Jason Pierre Paul. Uh, once again, Ahmad Bradshaw, Jason Pierre Paul figures exclusive to the three pack. Only way you can get those guys in here, as well as the Eli in the white jersey. And one final box set to show you on this display is a very cool Dick Buckus Brian Urlacher exclusive two pack. Uh, it features Brian Urlacher there in the throwback 1940s World War II era Bears jersey. And Dick Buckus featured in the white jersey, just dirty, very filthy, like they roll around in the mud. And once again, exclusive uh, figures for that two pack with the Buckus uh, white jersey, uh, dirty, and Urlacher in the throwback Bears jersey. And then in between the Super Bowl two packs of the Giants Packers, I have there a 19, I think it's 88 or 89 starting lineup Michael Jordan figure there you're seeing um, in pretty good condition. Uh, four corners are all pretty good shape. The box is in, uh, the packaging is in pretty good shape. Uh, it's even got the toy liquidator two or five hour stickers still on there, as you can see, even though that's not where I got it from. It was actually given to me for my collection. Uh, but a very cool looking piece nonetheless, and a couple of loose uh, Vince Carter pieces next to Jordan there. This Patrick Waugh figure we're seeing here is probably the most unique figure that I have in my sports pit collection because that is a customized Patrick Waugh figure. It's custom designed and painted to reflect Waugh's 98 Team Canada jersey and uh, glove blocker and pads and, and mask accordingly. And it was done by a customizer. I picked it up uh, many years ago, maybe, I don't know, 13, 14 years ago from a customizer. And I don't remember who the guy's name was, but I was on the, uh, the Spawn Buy Sell Trade Board, which was very popular roughly at that time, 15 years ago. And he had pictures of this custom Wah figure up on there. So I really, really dug the design, really dug the artwork and, 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 the, and the level of detail this uh, customizer put into it. And so I thought, you know, for the asking price, I think he wanted like 70 or 75 bucks for it. I thought it was worth it. And you can see there, um, just very nicely done. And the way a custom figure works like that is um, what the customizer first would do is go out and obtain a regular Patrick Watt figure. And then he would take like a razor blade or some sharp object and he sliced the back of the plastic packaging, carefully remove the figure out of the package. Uh, paint it, design it to, to, to however, however you want to design it or paint it up for him and then put it back carefully, remove it. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, carefully put it back in the package. And that's what he did with that figure. And, um, there's been some great custom work done over the years from people. Um, Jomo for one was a big time customizer. Uh, I'm not sure if he's still around, but we're going back probably 10, 15 years now. Yeah. There was a customizer named Jomo who was real big in the customizing market. And again, you could, you could commission him to customize, to custom paint you or design you a sports figure. And he would do it um, like the way that guy did with the Patrick Wah. But I didn't commission anybody to do the Patrick Wah. Uh, somebody just did it on their own and I happened to spot it and buy it. But you can commission a guy like Jumbo to actually do you up, so to say, uh, a custom figure. Um, again, you, you determine a price up front and the specifications of the figure. And then Jomo goes out and produces it for you. Um, it's very time consuming. It might take as long as three to six months. And it's also pretty costly. 
Um, so, but again, you could have your own figure customized and, and, and the way that guy customized my Petra Watt figure. Okay, now we'll take a look at some other sports figures I have on different displays in this room. I have a few series of baseball figures here on this display that you're seeing uh, that came out back in 2010, 2011. Some of the big names of the game uh, that you're seeing there uh, back at that time. Uh, there you have the Thurman Munson, uh, Reagan Chase figure, Yankees great. Uh, Alex Rodriguez figure right there with the white uh, 4th of July cap chase figure. And Josh Hamilton was a big name in baseball back in 2011. Bryce Harper was an emerging talent. There was his red figure as well as his red jersey collector's club uh, exclusive figure. And then below him you got uh, Starlin Castro there from the Cubs and Matt Kemp from the Dodgers. That's Castro, Reagan Chase, Brian Wilson. Gets a little tough to see, I know, because it's in the corner. The Justin Verlander figure, and next to him, Prince Fielder. And then down in the corner, you see uh, Jose Bautista, Joey Bats, uh, Chase figure, a uh, surprise figure, and a Collector's Club exclusive. And then coming across, you got Curtis Granderson, Regan Chase. And on the end here, you got the Albert Pujols, Regan Chase figures uh, there. Up here is where I keep my Derek Jeter 2-pack. Very cool two back of the Lakey's great uh, Jeter and the pinstripes home and the uh, road gray jersey with his five sil silver slugger baseball bats and his two World Series trophies in the box up. Uh, had to have it for my collection because I'm a big fan of Jeter. I uh, think he's a great player, great for the game, and uh, just a very cool looking collector's box two pack. This display has uh, football figures on it from, I believe, 2011. Some of the big names of the game, both past and present. Uh, starting from top left there, you'll see Michael Vick in the Philadelphia Eagles jersey, the red-green jersey, and then the gold-black jersey chase figure there. Barry Sanders, Regan Chase, uh, one of the great running backs of the game. And Peyton Hillis down there. Next to him, you got the Andre Johnson, red jersey, and then the blue jersey chase figure. Clay Matthews there, again, flexing his guns with the green jersey on. Des Bryant from the Cowboys, Reg and chase figure in the blue jersey. Got Drew Brees, Larry Fitzgerald, white silver level chase figure, Eric Dickerson, uh, Rams and Colts repaint chase figure. Next to him, Heath Miller, Reagan Chase from the Steelers tight end. Down below, there's a very cool Tom Brady with long hair, as you can see. A couple versions of Brady were made for that particular uh, uh, series. There was a long version, a long haired version, I should say. Then there was another version that had him with a short hair, and even harder to find one with a shorter uh, cropped hair. Miles Austin, and on the end there, the Reagan Chase Marcus Allen from when he played with the Chiefs. And this display here that occupies uh, one of my walls is mostly football figures, uh, along with some of the more football figures in their college jerseys. And then up top there, you're seeing some hockey figures. And we'll take a look at these figures uh, up close in just a second here. Again, these figures, these football figures just run alphabetically uh, by last name than by series. There is a reg Rob Gronkowski white jersey and the Minuteman red jersey Collector's Club exclusive Gronkowski figure, only available through the Collector's Club. There's another Troy Palomalu in the third jersey retro Steelers. That's a very cool Aaron Rodgers chase figure right there in the old school Acme jersey. Uh, I believe there's only a thousand of those pieces produced, but it's pretty sought after that Aaron Rodgers there. Um, in the collecting community. And then moving next to him, we got the Ken Stabler, uh, Raiders great, uh, reg figure and the white jersey chase next to him. And then above there, coming into focus, you'll see Calvin Johnson, starting here from the right. Uh, that's the that's basic Calvin Johnson issue blue jersey. Next to him is the white jersey bronze chase figure. I think 2,000 of those were made. And next to him is the black jersey Calvin Johnson Collector's Club exclusive. So very cool Megatron figures there. RG3, Robert Griffin III. Uh, there's a Collector's Club figure of him. He was hot for at least a minute back in the day. And then moving again to the right of that one, you see Tony Romo with his baseball cap on. There he is, Chase figure. There's great running back Matt Forte, reg figure, and the orange Chase figure that's next to him there on his right. Andrew Luck, first figure they issued to him back in 2011, Reagan or 2012, 
Reagan Chase, Reagan the blue jersey there, and the white jersey Chase figure next to him. That's Peyton Manning and his Broncos jersey, and then his retro Colts jersey there. That Peyton Manning is just a classic Chase figure in the white Colts jersey. It's not numbered. Uh, it's considered a classic Chase, which I guess is below like bronze level because they, they actually didn't serial number the classic ones. You'll see a few of those in there. And then you got DeMarco Murray, uh, Reg and Chase figure, the Reg white jersey, the blue Chase. Next in there's a couple of cool Sean McCoy figures in the white, white jersey. And then the really, very cool looking retro green Philadelphia Eagles throwback jersey. That was a Collector's Club exclusive uh, back in the day. Uh, Victor Cruz, Regan Chase from the Giants, known for his end zone uh, salsa dance, I guess, when he end zone celebration. And that's Cam Newton, Regan Chase figure, the Reg in the all black and the Chase in the all white there. Drew Brees, class, or, uh, classic Chase in the all black. Kind of a cool looking figure there. Uh, Arian Foster, Collector's Club exclusive. That's a Matthew Stafford Clark Toys exclusive, as well as DeMarcus Ware. Can only be available through uh, Clark Toys on those two. This is the NCAA Wave uh, figures of football that I showed you previously. Uh, that's the Marcus Allen, the USC. We've already seen these Champ Bailey figures, and I was showing you Chase figures and the collector's level Chase figures and how they work. Sam Bradford, Oklahoma. Like that Domica Sue we saw earlier, only available in the Oklahoma jersey. Uh, McFarland never issued Bradford in a Rams jersey or any other NFL jersey. Cam Newton there in his Auburn. And Tim Tebow there in his Florida. And then coming back over this way, a couple of Ricky Williams figures in Texas. Reg, uh, reg figure in the, ten, the Texas solid and the white uh, jersey Texas chase figure. This one's kind of cool. This is actually a Heinz Ward figure from The Dark Knight Rises. Um, for those who are familiar with the film, there was that epic scene where he's running down the football field and the field's collapsing behind him. He looks back, and the whole field's collapsing when Bane blew it up or collapsed it. And so McFarlane kind of made a figure from that. Uh, it's kind of cool. And then moving on to some hockey figures. Uh, Zidane O'Shara, Reagan Chase figure. And you got Phil Kessel, Chase, from the Leafs. Up here's a couple exclusives. That's Jonathan Quick with the Stanley Cup Collectors Club exclusive, Kings. There's a Temu Solani. Uh, I believe that was a Canada exclusive. I think Harm scored that for me. This display has a bunch of hockey figures on it, as well as a few football figures. The hockey figures uh, were from 2011, 2012. And you can see there a lot of the big names of the game, both past and present. Starting down here and working alphabetically by last name for this series, you got Sidney Crosby in the white Penguins chase figure there. And next to him, you got Roberto Luongo, Bobby Lou, in a white uh, Canucks jersey. And next to him, we got Taylor Hall in the blue jersey reg. And next to him, the white jersey chase. And then you got there P.K. Subban, a uh, great uh, Canadians defenseman, currently with the Devils, I believe. And right there is a Jonathan Taves, very cool looking figure, him hoisting the cup over his head. That's a Tim Thomas hobby exclusive figure with a stand, picture with the Stanley Cup. Only available through hobby outlets. Carm got me that one. Above him we see Alexander Burroughs and Terry Sawchuk. And then over here you got Steven Stamkos. There's Stamkos in the red, blue, and in the chase, white. And next to Stamkos, we got another cool-looking figure here of Alexander Ovechkin in the throwback Washington Capitals jersey that they wore uh, back in, I don't know, the 80s, I guess, in the 90s. And next to him, you got a couple cool, uh, figures of Patrick Kane in the red Hawks jersey and the black uh, throwback Hawks jersey, exclusive. Uh, they wore those exclusively on, on certain kinds of games, that black jersey there, Winter Classic and such. That's kind of a cool chase figure. And moving up here, we got Pavel Datsuk, uh, Red Wings great uh, player. Next to him, uh, a cool-looking Mario Lemieux figure with the cup over his head from when he won those cup uh, back in the years 91 and 92 with the Penguins. And next to him, James Reimer's surprise or chase figure. 
This one's very cool. It's uh, Jacques Plante, the legendary goaltender. Uh, that was available only through Clark Toys. And that was the only figure of Plante that McFarlane actually made. And for a change, I actually hooked up Carm with that one from the Clark Toys website. That there's a Des Bryant uh, Collector's Club exclusive. And next to him, you got James Harrison, Clark Toys exclusive, as well as another Aaron Rodgers in the Acme, also a Clark Toys exclusive. Here on the end are a couple of Deion Sanders Collector's Club exclusives, one featuring him in the Purple Ravens jersey and one featuring him in the Black Falcons jersey. These were available only through the Collector's Club back, I think, in 2004 or so, maybe 2005. Uh, they're very cool figures, and more on that, more on how I obtained them and, and, and the whole Collector's Club story later on in this video. But what makes these particularly cool is the fact that they were autographed, as you can see there, by Todd McFarlane in Silver Ink. See it right there next to the Dion and the one above? Yeah, Todd McFarlane personally autographed those in Silver Ink. Uh, they were given to me by, again, Mo from Arizona. And Mo tells me that Back when the Spawn brick and mortar stores existed a few years back, there was two of them actually, two locations where you could walk into the store, you could buy action figures, sports figures from McFarlane, uh, all, of the, all of his products. And occasionally, Todd McFarlane himself would hang around the store just to chit chat and interact with customers, get feedback, and he would do signings. If you bought something from his store, he'd gladly sign it for you. Todd was always a very willing, a willing signer. And so Mo obtained those at the Spawn store got Todd to autograph them, and sent them to me for my collection. So uh, just kind of, kind of very cool there. Here are three hockey figures. What you're seeing there is Brian Gionta. And above him, you're seeing Mario Lemieux. And above Lemieux, you're seeing Jonathan Taves. And these figures are collector's edition box exclusives. Only available through the Canada Tire uh, chain of stores up in Canada. And again, it features an exclusive figure uh, with a replica puck in a box and an exclusive jersey. And there, Taves is sporting the black Blackhawks jersey. Very cool. Um, exclusive again to the box set with the puck. And then Lemieux is in the jerseys that the Penguins were wearing back in the mid to late 90s. Only way to get that figure again to the box set. And down here, Brian Gionto, that was the only figure Todd McFarlane produced a Gionto. Again, in the box set with the Rub Club Puck, available only through Canada Tires. And yeah, that was Carm that scored me these three figures. So once again, thank you, Carm, for that. Now, this final display of sports figures in my room here uh, features basketball and baseball pieces that back from 2010 through 2012. I want to show you these before we start looking at other kinds of action figures and die casts in this room. So starting from the bottom right corner of the display and working way up, we see a couple of figures here of Rajon Rondo. The base Rondo is in the green jersey, and on his left is another Rondo in a different kind of green jersey. That's the St. Patrick's Day jerseys the Celtics wear on St. Patrick's Day. Chase figure on the left there. Here's LeBron James in the Heat jersey. The red jersey is in the red on the left there. And the black jersey chase is on the right. And that black jersey chase, LeBron James, is particularly special to me because, as you can see there, on the base, it is numbered 5 of 2,000. It's the lowest numbered chase figure that I own um, in my entire collection. There you see LeBron's teammate Chris Bosh in the black heat chase figure. And there's Carlos Boozer. At that point he was playing for the Bulls. There's the white jersey regular figure and next to him the red jersey chase. Now we go into some baseball figures. There is John Lackey, a couple different versions of him in his Boston Red Sox regular figure, and next to them is the California Angels gold chase from when he won uh, the World Series with the Angels back in, I think, 2002. Here we got Matt Holiday. 
Regular is a Cardinal, Chase is a Rocky. This is a very cool Roy Halladay Chase figure here because it features him with a replica ticket of when uh, Halladay pitched a uh, no-hitter, I believe. Might have been a perfect game. I'm not, I don't remember exactly. It was a no-hitter or a perfect game, but there's a replica ticket in there. Here's Ryan Braun, former league MVP, Reg and Chase. And now what you're also seeing, by the way, are some retail exclusive. I think these were a, a Toys R Us exclusive way of figures of Ryan Braun there. There's Joey Votto. We've seen him once with the, the Funko bobbleheads. There's a Joey Votto figure from the baseball wave. Curtis Granderson next to him. Another Derek Jeter figure there. Similar to the one in the box set. Joe Marr, Twins catcher. And over there, the second Marr you're seeing is a Target exclusive Marr in a different kind of Twins throwback jersey. But his, his arms and his batting stance kind of obscure the jersey. It's hard to see it. And then next to him is Dustin Pedroia, white jersey chase figure. And finally next to him, a very cool looking Albert Pujols uh, chase figure when he's at the back of the Cardinals. He's wearing a gray jersey uh, from the Civil Rights uh, game.